had people who volunteered from all around the country and they came to Christchurch. That, that way the people got together and did things for themselves. I mean, one, it built this really incredible sense of self-confidence. You know, we could do things for ourselves. Uh, but it also meant that we were much more engaged with our communities. There was no excuse not to know your neighbours after um, September 2010 and then after February we already were connected. We now know what to do. Uh, as a city our infrastructure is much stronger than it was before and as a city we, you know, we have processes in place to make sure that we are checking to, to see that our buildings are safe after, a, after a, an aftershock or a or further earthquake. So we, we have processes in place. I think we're much better prepared. We're a much safer city than we were before. We aspire to be resilient, and it, resilient means so much more than bounce back. You know, I think people think that's what it means. But it's how communities are adaptive, how they are connected and how they can respond in a way that is uh, quite creative and innovative. But a garden city in the 21st century means something so much more. It talks about sustainability, it does talk about resilience and it does also talk about things like food resilience and it does talk about um, things like caring for the environment, having clean rivers. It's going to be a place where people will, I think, be incredibly impressed as to how we have uh, managed to uh, respect what has gone before, but have also been able to develop um, things that are quite new and exciting. I have been overwhelmed at how much help people are willing to give and uh, I think that if there was one lesson learned, I think that we need to be very open to accepting that advice and support. Uh, we're always going to be able to do things our way, but it's really important to keep an eye on how others have um, responded as well.